Hi there, I'm Ekfa, and today we're going to look at some randomizers. I'm going to show you three different randomizers. One is going to be a signal strength randomizer. One will be a probability randomizer. And the final one will be a binary randomizer. Okay, so we're going to go and have a look at those. Okay, so let's dive straight in. So we start off with signal strength randomizer and we can get up to nine different signal strengths using this method. So that could be uh, one to nine. It could be any signal strength you wanted. It could be, you know, one, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. Right. Or it could be less than nine if you want as well. And you can even make it probability based. So you could have maybe, um, you know, one would come half a time and then two would come a quarter of a time and three would come a quarter of a time. So a different way of setting it up. But essentially, uh, this is where we're going to build it. So this is a comparative will just show us our output. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a piston just here. And then below that, I'm going to want a dispenser. Uh, dispenser is going to face upwards and be outputting just in front of this piston here. Get rid of that. Um, the next thing I want is to be able to put a honey block just there because I'm going to put a repeater on top of it and that repeater will be on vortex like this. Okay. Put a block behind there and essentially this is our input now so I can have a lever on top of that. So I'm switching around a lot, aren't I? Uh, put a lever on top of that, so that's going to be our input. And what we want to do is put a block in front of there. We're going to put redstone dust on top of the piston here. We're going to come down underneath and place an observer facing up. So looking at the piston and powering downwards. Uh, redstone dust underneath the observer. Solid block underneath the dispenser here. And um, essentially, I'm now going to put some shulker boxes in here. And I've got the shulker boxes ready, so you have to prepare these. So to get single strength one, I'm using a single stackable item within, sorry, non-stackable item within that shulker box. So I'm using a bow. It could be any non-stackable you want. Single strength two is two. Single strength three is four. Single strength four is six. And it just goes up by two each time, so six. Uh, here I've got um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 12, that's 14, that's 16. So if I grab all of these into my inventory, I need to, yeah, I'm going to have to grab eight of them and then come back. I can put those in my dispenser, like so. Grab the last one, pop that in here. And now when I um, turn this on and off, you'll see that a shulker box is dispensed here and that one gives us single strength three. If I do it again, I get two. Now you'll see that a shulker box got thrown out here. So this is a, a, a one wide build, but um, in reality it's best to put some glass around the side so that you don't get shulker boxes thrown out. So we can do that. I'm just going to put glass here and glass there. The reason I'm using a honey block, by the way, is because I want to be able to put a hopper under here. And that hopper will be able to collect the shulker because the honey block is not a full block. So when a piston pushes the item against here, it'll fall down into the hopper. And it'll get recycled back into my dispenser just there. Okay. So now when I do it, we should be safe, nothing escaping, and all our items getting recycled back into here. And this uh, repeats on four ticks because it gives time for the shulker box to actually get back and have an opportunity to be sent again. So I can get the same number twice in a row, and I doubt we'll manage to catch that. But um, if we're lucky, we could. But you can trust me anyway, you can get the same number twice in a row. If you want not to have that and you want to get a different number, then you can just set this to one tick and the system still works. But um, that 
shulker box is just broken, we'll not have time to get back into the dispenser. Okay, so this is how we'd normally set it up. So there you go, that's the signal strength randomizer. The next thing I want to show you is a probability randomizer. So this is just going to give us an output based on a particular probability that we set. So I'm going to put down a dropper just here with a hopper pointing back into it like this. We're going to read that with a comparator. Now, if I put a stackable item in here, um, if I grab a bow and do that, I'll grab a couple. So if I put one stackable item in here and that gets pushed into the hopper, it'll give me a signal strength of one, two, three. But a non stackable item, so a bow is a non stackable item, a stackable item will only give me a signal strength of one. So the power won't arrive here. And, um, and I'm going to use a, a target block because it'll help us later and put a lamp on top of that. So it's only if the bow comes out that I get um, the item to light up. So where's my lever? There we go. So if I power that, I see it did light up. Try again. It did. It didn't. So that gives me a 50% chance of getting an output over here. But I can change the number of items in here. So if I had two bows, that would give me a two out of three chance of getting uh, the light to light up. And uh, I can also add more. It's going to be different types of um, stackable item to change the percentages. So this is actually uh, two out of six. So that seems one out of three. So maybe that I'll add one more. And now there should be a much lower probability of the lamp lighting. There we go. Of course, if you leave the power on, um, it doesn't do anything at the moment because the item will come back. If you were to power this directly and it lights, then that also locks the hopper because this is powered. That locks the hopper and the item will stay in the hopper and you keep your output on until you turn the signal off. So that might be something you prefer. Um, this is, of course, tileable. So we can create another one of these next to it. And you can have the same probabilities or different probabilities. It doesn't really matter. Like this. And put my comparator down. And we put our dust along here into the target block. So this is why we had a target block because otherwise the dust wouldn't connect. So we use a target block to make sure it connects and pop a lamp on top of there. And now each of these can be powered independently. So with my levers, I can power that one. I could also, if I put some items into here, I'll grab the bow from, from here and pop it in there. This one will give you a 50% chance and this one will give me a one in uh, six chance. So there you go. So that can be tiled. You can, of course, also make it stackable um, like so. And definitely stackable and tileable is that when you power a stackable system, all of the tiles will work at once. There we go. So that is your probability um, randomizer, and you set the probabilities based on a number of non-stackable and stackable items in the dropper. But what I want to do is make a binary randomizer now, and uh, it's not very difficult. Same kind of thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to make an eight-bit binary randomizer. And so I'm just going to fill all of this up with redstone dust and put our comparators along here. And our lamps on top of there. 
and we are going to put um, blocks along here for now. We'll take this dust out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, like this, I'm going to have a 50-50 chance of it lighting, so that'll give me a 1 or a 0, effectively, in binary. So I'm going to uh, grab that dropper, and we're going to place them all along here. So they already have items in, so I'm in creative. This one as well, we're going to make it so if it's a 50-50 chance. Place my hoppers into here. And I'm crouch clicking to make sure they're pointing into there. And now I can just uh, cover this all with dust and use my lever to get me a binary output. And that is randomized binary output. Now, in this case, if you want the output to stay on until you uh, switch it again, you can do that. And the way we would go about doing that is actually uh, to, to dig down underneath here. We're going to dig all the way down like this. And what I want to do is, I'm going to take these out for the time being. We'll come back to those. I'm going to put target blocks along here. I'm going to put torches on those target blocks facing this way, like that. And my droppers are going to go on top facing this way, like so, Oop. facing this way. And this one lost an item, so I'll replace that, like so. And then I can just power uh, this line, not that line. Apologies. This line down here. With a lever. And what I'll get now is that the randomized output will stay on. Even when my lever's off. Okay. And that's just because the torches are keeping the dispensers powered and therefore locking the items into the hoppers. And that's it. That's three kinds of randomizer. Um, I hope you like those. They come in useful for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. But more importantly, maybe go and have a look at some of the other videos on the channel and see if you like those too. All right. Bye-bye now.